So, a bit of a change of plan. I was fairly well along with plans to run the Back 2000 X1 combination on the Salsa Via, but something never really felt quite right about it. I think somewhere along the way I got a bit waylaid by the promise of all the speed and power and lost track of my real goals with this channel. Not that I have anything against going fast, but perhaps this is not the bike frame to do it with. I don't think that many people are going to want to go 100 kilometers an hour on a bike like this. So I'm not sure setting this particular bike up to hit those speeds is a really good thing for the channel or much use for anyone else. There are plenty of other channels out there dedicated to extreme speed. What I really like are bikes that are enjoyable and fun to ride. The NXT display is coming up for the BBS HD and X1 motors. So what I'm going to do here essentially is get the bike NXT ready. Once it's released for the X1, I can then demonstrate why I think it will be such a big improvement to the way we ride these kind of e-bikes. Paz in particular will be getting a huge overhaul, but there are lots of other quality of life features throughout the system. So seeing as I had all the parts on the shelf to do it, I had a really super fun weekend putting an ERT tuned back 800 on the X1. I've not yet got the Paz running and the Egg Rider for some reason is not communicating properly with the controller yet. So lots of things to mess about with still, but uh, I kind of wish I'd done it much earlier because the throttle response is so silky smooth. If you listen to some of my earlier videos with the stock controller, you can hear kind of like the motor oscillate a bit under heavy acceleration and loads, and I'm not getting any of that with the ASI. So a quick overview of the bike, and I will put the details in the text as well. The bike is a Salsa Via 2012 edition, steel frame. It has the X1 Generation 1 motor from CYC in the inside frame location. Gearing is the 52T slash 38T combination, and that's driving a 10-speed rear cassette, which is just the standard road or touring gear range. The back 800 controller is mounted above the motor and I adapted the mount that I made earlier um, so that it clamps in place. The battery at the moment is the 52 volt triangle pack that I got from EM3EV and the display we have is the Egg Rider V2. Paz I still have to install on the bike and I'm not going to do it until I can actually control it using the Egg Rider. Uh, wheels are DT Swiss, tyres are 9 line by WTB. I'm using the XT brakes with 203 rotor on the front and a 180 on the rear. It's now when I usually have some riding footage to show you, but this time I don't. But I promise I will shoot some in the week. I'm going to do some riding with the triangle pack and then I'm going to stick the lipo on and see how that does. I did actually have to turn the amps down for the triangle pack as it was tripping the BMS when the throttle was opened up fully. There's going to be no restrictions with the LiPo though. The motor will be able to draw as many amps as it wants to. It will be very interesting to see the kind of figures that are returned by backdoor using this setup. I was not able to log any data from my earlier builds with the X1 but I think I will do a side by side test to show how getting the battery right is going to be a key decision to get the most out of the X1 with this controller. It's really great to hit spring with what feels like a new bike. I had a suspicion all along that I was going to get on better using the ASI controller with this motor. It feels very smooth now in operation. A transformation similar to when I installed the Back 800 on the BBS HD, although not quite as extreme because stock the X1 is much more powerful than the BBS HD. If this is a route you're interested in taking with the X1, you can actually get the back 800 if you order direct from CYC and there's the option to select it on the order page. I'm hoping that in the relatively near future, the kit with the NXT display will be available through the ERT website, in which case you would just need to order the motor kit from CYC minus the controller and then get the controller elsewhere. So loads more to come on this bike and I will post some ride footage in the week along with some data output on the 52 volt pack and then later on the lipo pack 
If anyone has a back 800 from CYC Direct and wants to say how it rides, let me know in the comments. That would be amazing. Cheers.